Hi, Pep. Um, can I just start with some team news, whether Erling Haaland's ready to no. play? And if you have any other injuries as well for this game? No. Jack has been sick. Uh, hopefully today he's back. Uh, Erling is out and John is out. Mm, yeah, I think it's everything. Newcastle have had a, quite a difficult month or, or two, but they do have an outstanding home record. How difficult do you see this game, this fixture? Always had been, especially since Eddie Howe took over and in the last years. So I never could see much results, good ones or bad ones, so now it's an opening. Opening is there. It's his 650th game as a manager. He's only 46. Do you quite admire him as a, as a manager and the job that he's done? Yeah, we, we have been faced many times. We was in Bournemouth and now in Newcastle. So, yeah, good, uh, good history together. To Andy Pointer. Hi, Pep. Um, I heard some sad news yesterday about Sven Joran Eriksson. Obviously, he's a usually respected figure in the game and a, and a former manager here. I was wondering if you'd like to say anything on, on behalf of the club about, about Sven. Yeah, of course, Sven Joran is a truly gentleman. So I've been here in the national team from England and other, and other countries. So it's a really, really sad news. Admire the courage and the, to, to explain the situation. Uh, of course, he will be with uh, his loved ones, and and hopefully, hopefully, always the, the hope is the last we can we can lose. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to battle the doctors and everyone to maybe can find a. A solution, extend the period, the battle, and and going well. Of course, on behalf of Man City, all of us, a huge, huge hug, huge support, and everything we could do. Of course, we would do it. <coughs> Pep, um, obviously, Kevin De Bruyne has been back, uh, made a playing return in the Huddersfield game. Um, obviously, coming off the bench, he says he's not doesn't feel like he's going to be starting too many games in, in, in the near future as he gets his fitness back. I mean, I know you said after that game it's about training, but is he in a position to start this weekend, do you think? Yeah. And do you have any reservations at all, given the fact of the, the nature of the injury and throwing him in from the start? I feel really, what I see yesterday, I feel really good, dynamic, and the minutes he played was really, really good, better than the training sessions before the Huddersfield game, like it was a little bit... A little bit not in what he is, but it's normal when you come from the for the long injury you have. It was five months. I thought it was three, but it was five. It was a little bit up and lows in the training sessions, in the recoveries, and so on. So this is completely normal. But the important is uh, is getting better. Now we have a game. And after we have a few days off, he will train a little bit. And after we go all together with the good weather condition to make four or five training sessions in in Abu Dhabi, and that will helps to you know to be better for the next games next month. Still, obviously, plenty of speculation about Calvin Phillips and where his future might lie. Has there been any movement? Have you had no. any inquiries on his future? No, no. He's a still player of us. Our player. And just finally, can I ask you about uh, Newcastle? Because Eddie Howe today has been complaining that he's not able to sign anyone in January. The owners have all the money in the world, but he can't spend it. And I just wondered if you had any, any sympathy with him. No, I don't have any comments. I have enough, enough. <laughs> Listen, I have a lot of problems on my table, you know, to, I wish him all the best, so I don't know the situation, the situation, and like you understand, coming the reality for another club <laughs> is not my business. <coughs> Pep, Newcastle have been one of those teams that have really suffered with injuries this season. You mentioned some of the ones you've had as well. Do you have any sense that the authorities will listen to clubs, players, managers about the schedule, or do you do you think it's one of them things you're just going to have to put up with going forward? Next question. <laughs> Full respect to you. In terms no. of <clears throat> the game this weekend, then you're obviously trying to do something that's never been done in English football before, which is win four league titles mm. in a row. Manchester mm. United did get close to it once when they finished second to Chelsea. Is it possible? Do you believe it's possible? Right now, yeah. How many points left? Mm, 90 games? 80? 80, 90 games. So still we are uh, five behind with one game in hand. 
So possible mathematical it is difficult, obviously. Otherwise, Sir Alex Ferguson period or Arsene Wenger or with Jose Mourinho or uh, the big clubs and teams that make a legacy, a dynasty in terms of results and for a long, long time, like it's quite similar to what we have done. Uh, they could not do it. That means it's so difficult. Uh, I, I will answer this question when we are six, seven games before the end of the season in the position. We are there. And after we'll tell you, okay, we can do it. Or now, yeah, it's realistic and realistic. I don't know, but it's far away. Considering what you've been through with obviously the high of winning everything last year, having to go again this year, having to go away to the Club World Cup, how pleased are you with where you sit right now that you are right in the mix considering everything that you you've can, had to deal with? You cannot imagine. In fact, I was not scared, but there was, I don't know what's going to happen after winning the travel. So with a nothing, nothing rest in the, you know, to forget our, or get gear off our hangover for the travel. So immediately Japan and Community Shield, and we didn't have time mentally to recover. Not even myself. I was tired when I started. I think the competition helped us to to have a spark, you know, to mm. something to to reignite uh, again. But and that's why win the two titles already <laughs> and qualified champions being there. I was a little bit afraid to be far, far away from the. For as I know how. Right now, Liverpool is in a playing unbelievable. He's back in, in his best moments of many, many years. So I know it will be difficult, not him. Even even Arsenal drop points. I saw, I've seen how they play against West Ham, for example, lost. So I didn't see the Fulham, but against uh, Liverpool and FA Cup, how good they play. So the chances they create, he can see few, but they are getting results. It's quite similar when we didn't get points against Crystal Palace or Liverpool and Tottenham, sometimes happen. But I had the feeling that they are, the, the opponents, so difficult. Look at Aston Villa, how consistent in Tottenham as well. So so that's why I'm really, really, really pleased that, uh, because in one point when we win a lot, help you to say, okay, we are able to do it. We are aware we can do it. We are knowledge that we can do it. But at the same time, you are not the same. You are not the same. So, you know, we did it. But then had the feeling that what we have done, we should do, we did it. But in the same time, it's okay. Newcastle, good weather. Mm -mm. And uh, yeah, go there and try to do it again, game by game, and see what happens. Hi, Pep. Obviously, Bahia has been here for a couple of days now. They left the Brazilian summer for a couple of weeks in the English winter. We saw the, the nice pictures of you, the, the both squads together yesterday. How has it been this interaction? How has it been to host them here? Yeah, it was it's nice. It's part of our, uh, you know, city football group, and uh, the club is a little focused to help. You know, in the way they can, they can help. You know, in ideas and suggestions. But at the end, Rogerio has done a really good job and it was nice to have him here. So maybe it was not the best time to come. In, maybe in springtime, in summer, is a little bit better. But, you know, it's nice to have them there, here. And uh, hopefully they can reward us and invite them, us to, to go to Brazil in the future. Can, can I just ask, how was your interaction with Rogério? I don't know if no, you remember really good. him scoring remember goals of meetings with Ferran and all the people. Really, really good. Edison really, really hero. Good. He's a legend. So he's a... What he has done as a keeper and not just saving goals, you know. How many as a keeper goals to score is a, le a real legend. It was an honor for me to meet him. A real, real an honor. Hi, Pep. Uh, from ESPN Brazil, uh, currently the trophies you won last year are in Brazil doing the, the world tour. I just wanted to know how important for the club and, and how proud does it make you feel to, to, to know that, that right now all the trophies are, are in Brazil and lots of people going to see them and not just winning them, but how much the profile of Manchester City has grown during your period here? Well, it's not just about the trophies. Of course, today the brand is a worldwide, not just City. We are not a worldwide brand in the last 20, 30, 40 years. It was more UK brand, you know, and now all the clubs try to to get supporters and and you know and 
and uh, and people follow us for have a better better sponsors and you know in the best ways show in other countries around the world have been in India and Asia and, and everywhere. You know, it's just to adjust what we are, what we have done, and hopefully the people is happy, can follow us more and and support us. So at the end, we don't have to support as many as other clubs, you know, for the old people on 40, 50, 60, but maybe that helps for the young, young boys, for the seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for the way we play, and maybe, of course, for we won, so they support us, and when you can get this support for the early early ages that remains for the rest of life when you support one team for the when you are a boy <laughs> always will be there it's impossible to change you change many things in your life but support one team is always will be there and maybe they don't realize but maybe in 10 years or 20 years we'll see a lot a lot of city fans what this decade we have done here so it's part of the process to try to grow up as a as a as a club